Join me as I try to identify and avoid Great Britain's top 10 most dangerous plants. Let's see if I can make it through without getting stung or worse. From garden favorites to wild wonders, these plants can be surprisingly dangerous. Let's explore nature's toxic treasures. On our list at number 10 is the delicate lily of the valley. This sweet-smelling plant features small, white, bell-shaped flowers and broad leaves. If ingested, it can cause nausea, vomiting, and irregular heartbeat. While rarely fatal, it can cause significant discomfort and may require medical attention. At number 9, we have the cheerful harbinger of spring, the daffodil, known for its bright yellow flowers with a trumpet-shaped corona. Eating any part of the plant, especially the bulbs, can cause severe stomach upset, dizziness, and in rare cases, heart problems. While usually not life-threatening, it can be particularly dangerous if large quantities are consumed. Number 8 on our list is the ancient yew tree. An evergreen tree with needle-like leaves and red berries. All parts of the yew are toxic. Ingestion can cause dizziness, dry mouth, and potentially fatal heart issues. Even small amounts can be lethal, making it one of the most dangerous plants in the UK. At number 7, we have the golden chain tree or laburnum, a small tree with hanging clusters of bright yellow flowers. All parts of the plant are poisonous, causing nausea, vomiting, and in severe cases, convulsions and coma. While fatalities are rare, ingestion can lead to serious illness, requiring immediate medical attention. Coming in at number six is the infamous hemlock, a tall plant with finely divided leaves and small white flowers in umbrella-like clusters. Ingestion can cause paralysis, starting from the lower body and moving upwards. In severe cases, hemlock poisoning can lead to respiratory failure and death. At number five, we have the beautiful but dangerous foxglove, tall spikes of tubular flowers in shades of purple, pink, or white. If ingested, it can cause nausea, vomiting, and potentially fatal heart arrhythmias. While deaths are rare, immediate medical attention is crucial if ingestion is suspected. Number four on our list is the popular garden shrub, rhododendron. Large shrubs with leathery leaves and clusters of showy flowers. Consuming any part can cause nausea, vomiting, and difficulty breathing. In severe cases, it may lead to coma. It is particularly dangerous for pets, especially tiny dogs. The bronze medal goes to the cuckoo pint, also known as lords and ladies. A woodland plant with arrow-shaped leaves and bright red berries causes severe irritation and swelling in the mouth and throat, potentially leading to breathing difficulties. While rarely fatal, it can cause significant discomfort and may require medical intervention. Our runner-up is the aptly named Deadly Nightshade, a shrubby plant with purple bell-shaped flowers and shiny black berries. Can cause dilated pupils, hallucinations, and convulsions. In severe cases, it can lead to respiratory failure. Consumption of just a few berries can be fatal, especially for children. And the most poisonous plant in the UK is monkshood, also known as wolfsbane. Tall plant with distinctive purple hooded flowers and large leaves. Even skin contact can cause numbness. If ingested, it can cause severe gastrointestinal issues and paralysis of the heart and lungs. Extremely toxic, with large doses causing almost instant death. Nature's beauty often comes with hidden dangers. Always exercise caution when handling unfamiliar plants, and keep children and pets away from them. If you suspect poisoning, seek immediate medical attention, stay safe, and enjoy the wonders of the UK's flora responsibly. Great Britain's Top 10 Most Dangerous Plants Remember, it's always better to be aware of these plants and take steps to avoid them. If you've had a run-in with one of these plants, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified of our new uploads. And as always, until next time, stay curious.